here is our new extendable swinger. We got hydraulic cylinders on the side of it, so when you turn around at the end, you can make slack in your hose for turning around. At least that's the theory. We didn't try it yet. We want to see how tough is this thing. So we hooked up to it and spun the tractor out in the driveway. Well, uh, nothing happened, so we retracted the cylinders and dragged the tractor back right. We found our weak point. At 15 tons, the bolts break off. All right, here's our elbow. So a couple things we learned. One is, I'm impressed with our swivels. These did not really bend at all. The flange is still flat. The bolts broke at 15 ton, and we were getting around 20 ton was when we were tearing hose off with the articulated. You need a weak point, and this is a good spot to have it. Here's the other thing. This was a new clamp, and it, it spread it open. So the clamp isn't taking it, because these things normally don't do this under normal use. When drag lining, a common problem is turning around at the end. So you're using a row crop or a straight frame tractor, you come to the end and you get a lot of side pull on the tractor. So you end up doing a three point turn. At the higher gallon per minute, it makes a real pond. And then your, your neighbors don't like you because it stinks and your landlord tells you that you may not spread manure onto his fields anymore because he's tired of the smell. So we have our all new extendable swinger. And what this does is when you get to the end of the field and you go to turn around, you can extend the swinger and it will give you slack in the hose. So you can turn around, you can keep the injectors in the ground the whole time so that you don't have that puddle at the end of the field from turning around. So it, it keeps the regulators happy because you got it injected, keeps your neighbors happy because they don't smell it. Here we pumped the other week and our neighbor has a wedding barn. He saw hose laying out in the field. He wondered if we could wait till Monday. This was on a Friday afternoon because they were having a wedding over the weekend. So my name is Joshua Vuz. Um, I own Foxglove Farm with my family and we run a barn wedding venue in the beautiful Ole Valley. So when I saw the hose out in the field, um, I wanted to make sure uh, our folks, the, the bride and groom, were gonna have a pleasurable experience. Um, so I reached out to you to make sure that, uh, or to ask if you could maybe wait until after our event. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised to hear that it had already uh, been pumped and really didn't have much of an odor at all. So that was, that was just a wonderful thing for us to have the fields fertilized and, uh, and not smell it is really uh, the best of both worlds. It's a good feeling when you know you, you've pumped manure the day before and the neighbor never smelled it. That is how you have good neighbor relations. We also have the hose pole video. If you want to watch that, see the link in the description for the hose pole video.